Hi everyone, this is Alexander from the Sky Mavis team. Today, I'm very excited to take a deep dive into staking and what it will mean for you. So let's start with the basics. First thing you need to know is that staking means that you are delegating your tokens to one of the validators on the network. There are trusted validators and there are standard validators. Let's take a look into the staking platform. When you go down the list, you will see the trusted. These are the governors of the network. They are the ones that are securing the bridge, among other things, and also making decisions for the future. Then you have the standard validators. These are the validators that are ensuring that the blockchain is producing blocks as they should, and they're also verifying that the bridge is functioning as it should. As a staker, you will go through the list of validators and you can see how much of a reward are they sharing with their stakers. So there is a specific fee split that the validators can set because validators earn rewards whenever a block is being produced, but they only earn rewards if they are among the validators that are on the top list. There is a difference here between the trusted validators who are always a part of the validator group and the standard validators, which are rotating. Now the rotating validators, they are being chosen each epoch or each about 30 minutes or so, where you're a part of the top validators based on the amount of ROM tokens that have been staked on the validator. So to be more specific, if there are 15 standard validators, only the top 13 or so will be chosen to be a part of the validator group. The remaining two would, for example, be validator candidates. So they are trying to become a validator, but maybe they don't have enough tokens staked on them. If a validator candidate wants to be a validator, they can, for example, set a very low fee split. So that means that they are taking a low amount of the fees to themselves, of the rewards, and they are sharing more uh, with the stakers who are staking on them. Now, what this means is that you as a person, or you as a staker, you will need to make a decision. Are you going to care a lot about a low fee split, for example, so that you get more rewards? If that's more enticing, then you might want to, to stake on a validator candidate. But you also need to be aware that validators and validator candidates can update their fee split accordingly. Specific validator can, for example, have a very low fee split on the beginning and then eventually increase it. We will be working on a notification system there so that you can be aware when changes are being made that affect your potential rewards. When it comes to rewards, you need also need to be aware of that if you are staking on a validator candidate and that validator candidate is not involved or does not get chosen as a block producer, you will not get any rewards at all. When we launched Ronin initially, what we needed to solve was the problems for Axie. You know, some decisions were made really fast and we always had this idea that Ronin Network would evolve over time. With this launch of Delegated Proof of Stake, we are getting one step closer to finalizing our vision of a fully decentralized network where anyone can participate, where anyone can deploy smart contracts and where anyone can bring value to the network. I'm very excited to see what the community will add uh, in terms of value that maybe we haven't even thought about. Progressively decentralizing the network over time means that we can move a little bit slower at the beginning and get a more clear idea of what the most important value adds for people are. When you have a very open network, for example, initially, there are, there's a bigger chance that the blocks are being filled up by things that are not very relevant, for example, to game developers. And that's one thing that we've been very careful with. I think as Rona Network scales, the chain will be even more reliable, it will be faster, and it will scale so that uh, anyone in the world will be able to use it. I think it's been great to see how the community has been rallying around Ronda Network, especially over the past few months. And I think our engineers have really been pulling out all the stops uh, to get this shipped in time. And now we can really start to see the, the fruits of our labor.